for the last time, we do not need a web presence, okay? Next time you tell me my medium is dying, you'll be the one. Do you have an appointment? No, but uh, it's my first day and I want to join the school newspaper. How brilliantly convenient. I need a new staff member now that Gracie has just been fired. <laughs> you can fire people? This is my newspaper. I can do whatever I want. Now, I will have to conduct an interview. Considering our present difficulties, I can't hire just anyone anymore. Difficulties? The newspaper has become so irrelevant, it's hardly worth the dead trees it's printed on. Well, I guess we'd better save the paper then. I like your attitude. Noted. Now, I will have to ask you a few questions just to gauge your suitability for the position. Where would you place yourself on the autism spectrum? On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely would you be to uh, donate a kidney to one of your colleagues? What would your classmates say about you in 10 years if they found out you'd become a ritualistic serial killer? I'm not really thinking of kids yet, but uh, you know, I'm focused on my career. Is this really relevant? I've heard enough. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Thank you. When can I start? James, I've finished all the fact checking and here's the review of the school band. Half a star out of ten. Harsh, but I expect no less from you. If they want less scathing reviews, they should learn to play their instruments. Okay, the uh, first presidential debate is tomorrow and I'd like you to cover it. I thought I was doing that. Well, you must feel very disappointed right now. Welcome to the first debate in the race for the school president. Alright, let's get this over and done with. <sighs> Candidates. What would you bring to the role of school president? If elected, I aim to abolish all resource wasting school politics. Well, I think as a school, uh, we could reduce our carbon footprint. That's exactly what I'd expect from a latte sipping lefty socialist. A socialist is not an insult, Henry. I think you're both wrong, but I don't really know why. <laughs> Can everyone just vote for me? Shut up, Ashley. I, I didn't say it shouldn't be legalized. It's just not part of my campaign. Look, you can vote for this idealistic hippie. No offense. Or you could vote for this girl. No offense. Or you can vote for me. I think we can all agree that the choice is obvious. I don't mean to be racist. I just think there's way oh, too right. many. No, no, no. Okay, that's fine. The debate's over now. That's great. All of you people here for detention can now leave because God knows you've been punished enough. Seeing as I believe that I'm the only reader of the school newspaper, I expect there to be a riveting write-up of this event in the next issue. Kate, your article was a huge success. Really? No, it was the opposite. So, more like a failure? Yes. And a miserable one at that. You have one more week to write something that sells, or you're fired. And then the newspaper will fail, and you'll be held personally responsible for ripping apart my dreams and emotionally ruining me for the rest of my life! What am I supposed to do? People just aren't interested in school politics. Kate, it's the race for school president. What could be more thrilling? You did so well in the interview, Kate. But maybe I was wrong about you. Maybe you're not the future brilliant political journalist I thought you were. Maybe you're just a future horoscopes writer slash cat owner. Maybe I'm not the uh, future media mogul slash billionaire slash me cat owner that I thought I was. I can do it. Just give me one more chance. Okay, okay. Just don't let me down, okay? You know how much I have a stake. Oh, come now, Nancy. We can't print a picture like that. I don't think we should hide things just because they're unpleasant. I think we have an obligation to print it. That isn't what the people want to read. Then look at John's face. You might as well just drown your children and hang yourself now, because the country will have absolutely no future under their government. Follow me on Twitter. Today's a conscience vote, but tomorrow it'll be compulsory gay marriage and free drugs on every street corner. Follow me on Twitter. Are you finally having a baby? Or is that just like an unflattering outfit? Oh no, I thought we were here to talk about the boat people. I'm afraid we've run out of time. Drug addicted socialist. I'm not drug addicted. But I'm not fat or pregnant. How did I not think of that? 
Now, I've come to see you today because my campaign manager has noticed that your uh, article has influenced the opinion polls. We can uh, publish a retraction if you have a problem with the glaring factual errors. No, no, no problem. The only problem is Ashley has fallen in public polls ever since you announced her pregnancy. But Sam, ever since his alleged drug addiction has increased in popularity, I'm still more or less in the middle. Mm, yeah, and the middle is more or less a catastrophic disaster, is that right? Exactly. Mm. That's why I've come seeking your help. Are you actually asking us to sacrifice our journalistic integrity just to help you win an election? Didn't I buy you, Anna? We're not sacrificing your journalistic integrity. What do you say, Kate? You could really help me. And everyone seemed to love your article. They loved it. Totally. And of course you wouldn't go uncompensated. To show my appreciation for your help, I would be sure that you guys get a new printer and a new storeroom to do your work from. Mr. Morrissey's my father. I have that type of power. You have yourself a deal, sir. <laughs> assembly that marks the end of another soul-crushingly tedious school year. Right, now for the first of a number of largely inconsequential awards, the result of the election for school president. Henry. Uh, you are going to keep your election promise uh, to abolish school politics, aren't you? Yes. yes. Right, <clears throat> next, the prestigious award for participation in excellence goes to Kate Adams for her revival of the school newspaper. Are you kidding me? Excellence! Her stories were totally fabricated and terrible! You're just upset because you got fired from the newspaper. Shut up, Kate. Your stories are as fake as your stupid glasses. And what makes you qualified to be a stigmatism police, Anna? You couldn't even keep a fact-checking job at the school newspaper. Oh, bird. Why well, can't I want to work for you trash peddlers anyway? Or take part in a sham of a nepotistic election? Right. Okay, moving on. Now I have the award for the best artwork indicative of a deep-seated emotional problem. Doug Kafer, come on. Doug, hey, clap. Everyone, clap. <laughs> oh, congratulations to the new school president oh. and my star journalist. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you two. No, you couldn't have. And if these two had any integrity, he never would have won. Anna, please. Yeah, maybe you should go home, Anna. You know, you seem very mentally unstable today. The trophy should have been mine. You just wait. I'm going to start my own paper. And I'm going to expose your fraudulent articles for what they are. You can't silence me. You'll never silence I think you've had one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>